Welcome to the Premier Inn at St. Mary at Hill in London where we will be looking at the Premier Plus room. So let's start the show. We all like to get away now and again. And what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. Going up. So we're going to the sixth floor, 606. Here is where the Premier Plus rooms are. And there are six of them apparently, even though it's a 601 to 626. Floor six. Okay, and now where do we go? Doors opening. Okay, good to know. Which way do we, okay, these Please are the stairs. Doors. Doors so we go towards the right hand side. It was a short distance away from the elevator. So now let's go in. Now we put the key in. Turn on the lights. We have never stayed in a Premier Plus room before, so this is a new thing for me as well. So as you can see, there's ample closet space right here. Now let's go on to the main room area. So there is a nice painting by Gemma Evans and it's untitled and it was produced in 2017. I think it might be like an abstract art of some sort. So you have um, this, I would say this is like a king size bed and there is a, um, a soft bit to lean on for when you wanna do any reading or gaming or whatnot. There are sockets on both sides and I like the fact of the back of the board that it is illuminated with the purple, which is synonymous with Premier Inn, which is, uh, which goes with the colors that they have. Okay, so it is really nice that it has like this um, chair to relax in and you could put up your feet if necessary. Oh, this is really comfortable. I think I could fall asleep, to be honest. But we shall not fall asleep just now. I need to give you a good rest of this tour. I think it's handy that that they have this Welcome to your Premier Plus Room Guide. So let's see what's here. Uh, it says that there's even that these are even comfier rooms than the ones at the regular Premier Inn rooms. There's more perks such as the mini fridge, complimentary water, tea, coffee machine pods, sweet treats, and ironing, iron and ironing board. They have provided us with 
two bottles of water that are 330 mils and two little bars of chocolate that we could eat later on. And this is really comfortable chair. It's like one of those work chairs that has a soft back and soft um, seating area. We have a stunning view of St. Mary's Church over to my right. And over to my left, there is a really good view overlooking the city of London straight ahead. This curtain right here, this see-throughable one, that is made of mesh of some sort, fell down on us while we were filming and, and nearly broke our camera. So I think this is kind of flimsy because it is basically sitting on top of the actual window and it's being balanced off that way. I think it might fall again. We have been told when we checked in that the TVs were not currently working at the moment and a engineer is working on it and hope to have it working later on in the day. Is there a light? Okay, that's better. So, as you can see, there is a really big shower. Um, it has this, this, um, spray that you can hold on to if you need to get into hard to reach places. But I think this overhead shower will do just fine. Um, so everything looks in order. This is for the, this is for temperature. I think this is to turn it on. The thing that I'm kind of concerned about is that there is no door. So I don't, so I don't know what's going to happen to the water from the running shower. It looks as though it is on a stand, so hopefully things aren't going to be getting wet and wild while we're at the Premier Inn Plus room. So it looks like they are providing Bayless and Harding goodness, lavender and bergamot, and oud, cedar and amber. This is the body wash, and this is also body wash. But then, what's gonna happen to my hair? <laughs> I think one's gonna be body wash and other's gonna be shampoo. And over here, we have Bellis and Harding Goodness, Oud, Cedar, and Amber, sort of like the one that we had in the, in the shower. This is an interesting light fixture because I think I see myself in the distance in there, and it's, Kind of disorientating, but interesting nonetheless. Okay, so this is where I'll probably be sitting, <laughs> getting ready in the morning. So here's a light, and there's the hair dryer. What is this for? Okay, okay, so this is for powering the hair dryer. So let's see if it's in working order. What? Oh, right. Sorry. One of the positives for booking this Premier Plus room is that you get ultimate Wi-Fi, meaning you could stream to your heart's content, you could download what you want without any limits putting on to your devices. So that's a very good thing indeed. And we have chosen to pay for our cooked breakfast. So we're going to be paying for the unlimited cooked breakfast. So that is going to be a really good way to start our day. And Stay tuned after the break where I will be reviewing what we thought of this whole experience. Subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on
we've had a really great stay at the Premier Inn at St. Mary at Hill in London. Marcus had one of the best night's sleep he's ever had because he had a total of about seven hours sleep, which is unheard of for an insomniac. I was also really impressed that the bed was really comfortable and the two pillows that I had really did the trick to get me to sleep as well. Unfortunately for me, I did wake up once, but I wasn't able to fall asleep again pretty quickly. And I think I had close to the same amount of hours that Marcus had, bar a few, maybe 10 minutes um, when I woke up just before seven. I did like the shower. It was pretty strong. The water didn't really come out as I thought that it might have because of the slant, which was a good thing. The signal for the TV wasn't available until after 10 o'clock because I remember watching the 10 o'clock news. We weren't too bothered by any of the shows that were on, but I did like to have the TV on in the background. Another really good thing is that we had really super ultra ultimate Wi-Fi. I was able to stream a couple of programs on Netflix. So I was really, really happy that it wasn't buffering and it wasn't comfort, like freezing. So I think that that was a really good thing to have, the ultimate Wi-Fi. I think it's one of the best Wi-Fi's that I've had at the Premier Inn because it's ultimate, obviously. So you would expect it to be pretty good. I was really pleased that they provided us with two bottles of sparkling water. I would have preferred it to be still because I think still is better for you like at night time, but I had it at night anyway and I went to sleep fine. So I think that the Bellu water was really nice and it was chilled in the refrigerator, so that was a good touch. Now we need to get to the breakfast. The breakfast was self-serve. So we went downstairs, the lady, brought us to our table. She said, okay, everything is in the back and there were plenty of cereals. There was also yogurts. There was the cooked breakfast, including bacon, sausage, scrambled eggs, black pudding, I think fried egg, I think baked beans. I hope I didn't forget anything. Anyhow, there was also a toast machine where you put your piece of toast. There was also croissants and baked goods like that, as well as the coffee and tea making facilities. I did have two coffees down there and it was pretty, pretty fulfilling and satisfying. We really hope you enjoyed our review of the premiere in Premier Plus Room. If you did like the channel, hit the like button. And for those of you that haven't subscribed, we would really appreciate your subscribe as well. And as always, please feel free to leave any comments and feedback for us to improve upon. And until next time, we're gonna say bye for now. But wait, I forgot to make a coffee. So why don't I just do that now to perk myself up before we check out. How difficult can this be? So I'm going to insert this water tank. Oh my gosh, did I even put it in properly? I hope so. Alright, so it did say to remove a water tank and fill with cold water securely back into place. I think this is secure. I didn't hear the latch. Uh, it's on power, so that's fine. There's a switch. Oh, I see. Is that on? Yep, lights are coming on. So this means that it's going to work. 
Now let's put the cup under. And I don't know how strong this is. It's a long go, so it's like a long coffee. Um, and I believe this is an espresso make. Ooh, premium. Okay. So you insert it right here. You pull the lever to put it into place. So we're going to make this big one. How do I do that? Mmm, really, really strong, just as you would expect from an espresso, from Nespresso. Wow, this is pretty good coffee, and I guess this caps off our stay at the Premier Inn. And until next time, we'll say ciao and bye for now. Now let's enjoy the view.